you cannot let yourself go because then you cannot do oh. yeah oh, you're, you're too wide you're too open you're too ah, it's that's too much a more. fantastic explanation so you know in the coloratura you can depict different emotions i think and this is the the, the, the wonderful thing of listening to a Rossini singer, that with the coloratura he can be mean, he can be happy, he can be, you know, stressed, worried, tormented. <laughs> It's the expression of extreme feelings. Uh, these crazy coloraturas, extreme music, uh, the mad tempi, are the expression uh, of, the, of the madness of the character, of the madness of his feelings at that moment. Rossini's Barber of Seville is his crowning masterpiece, and for my first time conducting it, I'm working with the directors Moshe Leiser and Patrice Corrier at the Royal Opera House. The key characters are Figaro the Barber, Rosina a young ward, and the tenor Lindoro, a count, who is disguised here as a priest. Like Mozart's Marriage of Figaro, Rossini's Barber of Seville is based on a Beaumarchais play with the same central character, Figaro, played here by Pietro Spagnoli. Figaro's entrance aria, Cavatina, is no contemplative, sweet little aria. It's a storm of orchestral activity and rhythm. He is the everything to everyone, the factotum della città, and he says, make room for the factotum della città, but we hear his voice from off stage first. What Rossini sets in this aria is a working class man, barber, that is known for being the matchmaker of the city, and obviously he's a man very much on the mood. He says, what a beautiful life I have. For a for a barber of quality. And we go ahead in that vein. In the next section, we encounter a device that Rossini almost invented and used very, very often, the Rossini crescendo. Starting very, very soft, the orchestra becomes louder and louder, gradually. Here's the crescendo. They're calling him from everywhere. Figaro, 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 Figaro. I don't know what to do. I mean... In the aria, he depicts a man under stress. One at a time, one at a time, he says. And then the patter of patters. 
Figaro, bravo, bravissimo, Figaro, bravo, bravissimo, bravo, Figaro, bravo, bravissimo, fortunatissimo, 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 per verità. Fortunatissimo, 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 per verità. The public couldn't get enough of Rossini, and his working life was as hectic as his music. He was contracted to write two operas a year for Naples, but The Barber was written for Rome, and legend has it he dashed it off in less than three weeks. And yet, he created one of the greatest roles for the mezzo-soprano voice. The heroine is played here by Joyce Di Donato. Now, Joyce, this is Rosina's entrance aria, her cavatina. Um, we find out a lot about her in this aria. Can you tell us what is it about her? What's going on? Well, the first thing is she's a teenager, and she's quite impulsive and full of hormones, I think. The problem with her is that she's stuck in a room, barred behind windows, and kept by an old tutor who wants her for her dowry, for her money. So her goal is to find a way to break free the way to that is via a voice that she just heard outside her window who belongs to the tenor named Lindoro and she thinks he's going to be the way out for her. So she's quite resolute, yes? Yes. And impulsive, I think. And crafty. Yeah. And excited. Plucked strings accompanying. A voice sounded in her heart. She's been struck by Cupid. Lindoro is his name. Her outburst. He'll be mine, I swear it. I will win. <laughs> repeats the same words. It is the most difficult music. It has to be precise. The dynamic has to be right, the phrasing has to be right, the colors have to be right, the character has to be right. It is incredibly written music. Sweet and loving. I let myself be led. But. <laughs> What just happened? What just she happened? says, <laughs> but, ma, ma, if anyone touches me, I can become like a viper and go back up and just rip scorn all over them. It is that very malicious, rebellious character of, uh, of, uh, of a young girl that Rossini depicts in his music. It's not a question of love, it's a question of air. But, now, you did what we call a portamento, you, you glided, you brought the voice up. And you rolled the R. Yeah. And what does that... What, what I think this does is really show Rosina's craftiness and her intelligence. She gets a bit carried away, she's a bit over the top, and she's got to bring it back to her task at hand, which is laying these hundred traps. So... And then what? She's back to her wily ways. 